Welcome G3 investors. Let's take a look at the stock market for the week ended January 27th. The NASDAQ composite index that you're looking at here on a six month chart was up 0.8% Friday and it was up 4.9% for the week as tech stocks ruled the market this week. And it closed right here just above this red line, which is this 200 day simple moving average on Friday. Now if we turn to the S&P 500, we can see it had, it also had a good week. It was up 1.8% for the week and it's getting close to a golden cross here where the 50 day, this is the blue line, is going to cross the 200 day simple moving average. And it's getting close to its resistance here at 4101. Closed at 40. 4,070 and some change. The Russell index, let's take a look at it. This is the strongest of all the indexes that we've looked at so far, and it has broke above its resistance here at 1906, I believe that is, and closed at 1911. So it's looking real strong. Now our model. Let me look at our model just a minute here. We have gained 15.9% month to date, and we're handily beating our benchmark comparisons. The S&P 500 is up 6%, so we're beating it up by almost by 10 percentage points. The NASDAQ's up 11%, so we're only beating it by 4.9 percentage points. So let's go take a look at what are... You know, nearly all of our gains, 75% of them, are come from shorting. But some of our gains, we have 11 open positions. So let's look at some of those open positions to see what's moving the market. First one is XLF. You can see this has made a nice move this week, pulled back. And so we ran that one, and it's looking real, real nice. Uh, XLK. Technology sector, nice little breakout here on it. Needs to get above that resistance there, but it is above its 200 day moving average, so it's looking pretty good. XLY, that is consumer discretionary. It's a nice breakout. I like the way that one moves, and that has broke out above this resistance line here at around 147. XRT, S&P, retail stocks. Again, nice breakout above this consolidation here. Looks like we're off to the races on that one. IYR, I believe that is real estate. Yep, again, nice breakout above this line. XME, uh, that's not a... 52 week high. So, really looking real nice there. Did I look at IYR? I did. Let's look at uh, QQQ, which, whoops, which is the NASDAQ 100 composite in index. Again, it's above its 200 day moving average, and it looks like it's closing in on that resistance right there at 2. 297.50. The SPY, which is the equivalent of the S&P 500. And it's looking real good. And again, we're going to see that same golden cross real soon, we hope. The IWF, that is the Russell 1000 series trust. We, we trade that one because it moves faster than the 2000. And so we're all about making money on the movement in the market. And that looks like it's ready to pop above. Well, it's above its 200-day, and it looks about ready to break resistance at around 235. IJK, that's the mid-cap 400. No, not nice crossover here, and it's acting real nice. It's nice looking short. And ITA, and that one's trading near its 52-week 
high. But I made a new high uh, back here. I think 114.82, 114.61. Yeah, back here. Made a new yearly 52 week high. So before we go here, I do want to take a look at the heat map. So let's take a look at that. Well, you can see we had some, the big techs ruled the market. And we can look at the winners here. There's Tesla with a 33% gain. They had record Q4 earnings. There's NVIDIA at 14.2% almost. Qualcomm at 8.5%. Uh, there's Meta at 8.9%. And Apple at 5.85. Amazon at 5.13. And then there's Microsoft at 3.3%. And you know, American Express, Buffett's got to be happy about that one. And the banks are still doing good. Uh, there's some others over here. Yeah, there's even Costco. That's, that's a good company. There's GE up 7% and Raytheon. Well, that's all for this week's video. I'm Greg Gallagher. Good luck and good trading.